Welcome to this episode of the Dropout Multi-Millionaire Podcast, where we talk about tactical business strategy, building high-performance sales teams, and growing your business. If you're ready to break free from the status quo and join the ranks of the Mavericks, the Rebels, and the Renegades who refuse to conform and instead build multi-million dollar businesses, then buckle up, because here we go. Thank you for tuning in to the Dropout Multi-Millionaire Podcast today. And today we're going to be talking about the fact that Not everyone should be an entrepreneur. Not everyone should start a new business. And here's a crazy one. Maybe even not everyone should be the number one in their current company. This is a crazy topic today. But before we get started, I want to tell you where you can find my free sales and marketing courses under a new program I've just launched. I have joined a program called School, S-K-O-O-L. This is brand new for me, literally just launched it today. And I'm going to be building a community there that's got all my content, my courses. It's also a place to interact with other business owners. These people are going through the same issues you are, as well as some of my clients who I'm coaching through my Fractional COO program. You can see the link below. It's S-K-O-O-L. You can also go to school.com and look up the Dropout MM community. But go there, check it out. It's free to join for now. We're going to let the first 25 people in for free. And then eventually we'll have some exclusive content that we're going to charge for. But right now, the first 25 folks are free, the Dropout MM community. Okay, that's out of the way. Let's jump right into today's episode and topic. And again, I want to talk about being an entrepreneur. Or more specifically, should you be an entrepreneur? I am of the opinion that not everyone should start their own business. Not everyone should be an entrepreneur, at least not yet. In fact, I would say that most people should not go down this path. Again, not yet. And there are still others who have already launched a company that should probably not be running it. They should not be the CEO. This is all about being the number one in your business or potentially being the number two. Personally, I started my first business when I was 21. And for the next 15 years, I was the number one in my company. I was the CEO. And I made a little bit of money but I never really made a lot of money. The truth is, I just didn't know how. I did manage to sell one company for about a million dollars, but that money went pretty quick. A million dollars just really isn't that much money. Now, I can already hear people say, I'm crazy. You're crazy for saying that. But those people have probably never had a million dollar net worth. They just don't understand. For those of you that have actually made a million dollars in cash and equity, you probably understand what I'm talking about. It wasn't until I met my first mentor and business partner, Steve, that I personally stepped back down into the number two position, and that is when we started making a lot of money. He knew how to make money, and what I did is I watched and I learned. And I stayed there for about five years before I stepped back up into the number one position in a new company. Sometimes you need to learn. Sometimes you need to let somebody else lead who has the experience you don't have. And then you need to watch and learn. I've made a lot of money in the number two position, millions of dollars, without all the problems that come along with being that number one. Now, I've also made a lot of money running my own business as the number one. But I will tell you this, and I'm dead serious. If the right person came along today with the right opportunity, and I could learn from them how to go to the next level, I would step back down to that number two spot and work for them. And I wouldn't even think about it for a second. There's an old adage I hear from people that says, I would rather be the captain of my own rowboat than the first mate on a battleship. Now, personally, I think that's a ridiculous statement. And it's usually made by an uneducated egomaniac who will probably never really succeed at a high level. Because let me tell you something, that battleship will roll over your rowboat and not even know it's there. Battleships win wars. Battleships conquer enemies around the world. Rowboats are good for fishing in little ponds. And if I'm the first mate on that battleship, I am in the process of learning how to be the captain. And one day, I will command my own battleship. And you will still be paddling around a pond somewhere, talking about how you're the captain. By the way, that also applies to being the second or third mate. Any of those positions is a learning process if you allow it, and eventually will push you up to where you want to go if you truly want to learn. 
The second half of my original statement applies to someone who has already started their own business. And maybe they shouldn't be the number one. They shouldn't be the one running it. Too many times people who start a business are really the technicians in the business or the primary salesperson. And they are not the best choice to run the back end or what we call the business end of the business. In these instances, you are probably better off bringing in a good COO. Just like you shouldn't try to be a CPA without the proper training, you probably shouldn't try and run and scale a business if you've never done it. If you're not that detail-oriented, it's going to be a problem. The COO, and many times even the CEO, is an administrative position. They are managers. I know it's a fun title to have and it's sexy, but you're really just a manager. You manage people, you manage process, and you manage technology. And if you're not good at that, maybe you shouldn't be doing it. Your company will scale much faster if you do what you're good at and bring other people in to do what you're not good at. So that's it for today. I appreciate you being with me on the Dropout Multimillionaire podcast. If you want more information, you can visit my new community on school.com. The link is below. Or you can go to my website at brianwillmedia.com. My books, my podcasts, my blogs, my newsletters, everything is on there. You can communicate with me. But remember, if you're going to be in this game and you want to win it, then you got to get in the game. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you would like to get more information on either one of my books or my one-on-one coaching programs, you can find me at brianwillmedia.com or thedropoutmm.com.